my name is Charlene. I'm an artist in my last semester of my fine art degree at Curtin. I am also the co-exhibition coordinator for this year's grad show and the artist in residence this month at uh, the library. I'm currently working in textiles and weaving and looking at how minimalism has sort of an absence of colour and women artists when we think about it. So combining colour and uh, something which is typically considered women's work, the textiles, to sort of uh, critique that. The residency has been so incredibly helpful in terms of like practicing running workshops and I think without the support of like the library itself and the fact that they've got like a space for me to hold it, uh, they've got the materials, they've got the platforms like advertise it as well. So without having the connection to the library through the residency I don't think I would have been able to get as much practice as I have at running the optical painting workshop. Um, and like, you know, just sort of, you know, for like a baby giraffe, like sort of mumbling through like how you're going to run this workshop. And I think, um, yeah, I like that's been like the most beneficial thing is like actually having a safe space to do that and the support to do it as well. And also like to be compensated for that is I think very rare. So the fact that that is in place here as well is also like really important really like to go and do honours and like spend a dedicated like year to a project and I think it'll sort of be like slowly trying to like peel myself out of like the education system as well and a bit more like self-managed um, but yeah I think the confidence to actually like say things and say them loudly I'm not even like saying it now but like to make a feminist statement about women in the arts and textiles and all these different things and like intersectional feminism as well so being able to actually like claim those things as someone who knows about them and has lived experience of it is like really hard to do at the moment so gaining the confidence to actually do that I think is probably going to be like the biggest stepping stone in my practice and then actually being able to like keep doing it for years and years.